have at it. What's up, Shay? Did you expect, when you saw that Iowa State would be here on this coming Saturday early on, you figured this game was going to be the game that maybe, you know, decides what's oh, going to yeah. happen? Yeah, I, I thought it cut. I thought. I'm, I'm surprised it happened before this. And so, yeah, I thought this would be a, a, a game in which, uh, you know, the, it would definitely have conference uh, 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 championship implications, you know, for, for us, for them, for other teams that are still in the league, you know, that that would be fighting for, uh, you know, fortunately for us, we, we, were, we, we took care of business this past week. But, but uh, I, I certainly have always circled this game as being one of the biggest games on our you know, Big 12 schedule, in large part because they've had so much success against us the last five times we played. Will you play all your guys uh, uh, Saturday? I mean, like, as if, you know, there's something on the line? Are you, are you well, yeah, them? there's still st stuff on the line. You know, I, I think that Perry and Hunter and Jamari and Evan, uh, you know, deserve to have a memorable day. So, so in order for it to be memorable, you know, you you got to win. I mean, uh, to be most memorable. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll play normally the normal way. Now we're going to start all our seniors, uh, and Frank. So, so uh, Frank and Evan will start the guards, and Perry at the three, and Mari and, and Hunter inside. So, that'll be how we start. Uh, uh, I don't know how long we'll stay with that, but certainly uh, hope that group can can play well early. But yeah, we're going to play the game just like it'd be any other game. While you were growing up, how conscious were you of the UCLA dynasty? Pretty much. No, I wasn't. I wasn't conscious of that. I, I had known that, you know, they'd won 10 and 12 years or whatnot. But when you think of UCLA, you think of national championships. You don't think of conference championships. And so, uh, you know, what, what's kind of unique about their streak uh, of, of winning 13 in a row, which is which would be uh, remarkable any time, is that uh, I believe four of them were done after Coach Wooden retired. You know they weren't all done under Coach Wooden. So uh, so uh, you know that's a little bit unique because you, you, you know, I think a UCLA streak you just naturally think of Coach Wooden, but there were some some other guys that had coached the the team after he retired. But but still though conference streaks are great, and I'm really proud of ours uh, what we got going. But you know, winning win, winning national championships, uh, uh, you know, far outweighs that without question. But in in in, a, in today's time, wherever there's so much balance and so many good teams, uh, uh, you know, it, it is a it is a nice feat that our guys have been able to accomplish. You have a favorite Perry Ellis old man joke? No, no. Uh, I thought I, there's been some some. Uh, uh, some unique ones that that uh, that you know that were all in good taste, you know, whether it be uh, you know uh, uh, my grandfather posterized Perry Ellis, or you know, or or, or uh, you know whatever it would be. Uh, uh, but you know, the the bottom line, he has been around a while. But he gets some he gets crap for for being around a while. But you know, we could say the same thing about George or about Buddy or. Some of those other guys being around forever as well. It's just in today's time, you just don't see good players sticking around all four years very often. In the last eight games, I think you're 34 percent what you're allowing, uh, which kind of ranks up with those, some of those really good teams you've had defensively. Can you kind of compare contrast this team defensively with some of your? Yeah, I, I think we've gotten better, Dave. I don't think we're as good defensively as our best teams have been historically. Uh, but uh, over a period of time, a, a small sample, we probably played uh, comparable defense. But 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 not but not, you know. We we still, uh, you know, even though Landon has become a much better rim protector for us and everything, you know, he's, it's a little bit different when you got Withy or Embiid back there uh, uh, than maybe what, you know, we, when you have, uh, you know, guys that that are naturally bigger. But I, I think we're I think we're a, a pretty good team defensive team I think we guard actions fairly well I think I still think we struggle guarding the ball uh, which is the hardest thing to guard and we've had other teams that much, that do that much better but you know we've gotten better but I, I wouldn't put I wouldn't put this team uh, you know at, at the top of, of some of the other defensive teams we've had but 
for us to have a great finish, you know, we're going to have to play to that elite level, and, and hopefully we will continue to get a little bit better. Are you guys playing better defense than you have the past couple of years at least? Yes. You know, all, 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 our, def all our teams have, have shown flashes of really good and really poor. Without, I, mean, I think every team does that. But, but here of late, now granted, Iowa State can come hang 100 on us, but, 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 but here of late, we have guarded better than, than probably for a longer period of time than the last two teams had. I, the last two teams were probably the, the weakest we've been. Uh, and, and we've had some really good defensive teams, but the last two teams were probably the weakest we've been defensively. Uh, that I can remember, and statistically probably so too. So this year's team, if you, if you look at the Big 12 numbers, the Big 12 numbers are, are pretty consistent to what past Big 12 numbers would be. If you look at our entire season, it would be not be as good because we obviously didn't get off to a good start defensively this year. You wanted Perry to focus on NBA distance threes in the offseason. Has that added dimension helped hear his pro, his pro prospects? Well, yes, but but uh, you know per Perry was told, and rightfully so, that that in order to be to be a, a impact player at the next level, obviously you got to be a stretch four because he's not big enough. You know, we we see that in college, he's not even big. So at the next level, he wouldn't be big enough to play. You know, inside. Uh, so he's going to have to do some things to move around on the perimeter. I think we've all seen, not only from a shooting standpoint, but from a ball handling standpoint, that he's really improved in, in both of those areas. Did you recruit him longer than any player in your KU career? You know, I, I don't know. I, I saw him play his first high school game, uh, uh, you know, as a freshman. So I, I think it was his first one. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, uh, and of course, we knew of him even before then. Uh, but. So the answer would probably be yes. The answer would probably probably be yes. I know Danny was a was a huge player in his report, recruitment and the point man for most of it. But I, I'd say we probably spent more years recruiting Perry than we have anybody else. Can you put a finger on where he might rank among all-time players from the state of Kansas? I know you haven't lived here all your life, yeah. but uh, well, I, I've got a pretty good feel. For, you know. We, you start thinking about Lucius Allen and, and, and some of those guys. I mean, that, that's that's a that's a that, that's a, a a level that's really 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 high. I mean, you're talking about you know arguably the you know one of the very best guards in the NBA at one time, uh, and of course a great player at at, uh, at UCLA. And, and and there's others, but I I really think <clears throat> at least in the modern era that 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 I have been around, uh, uh, you know. Going back probably from the the early '80s on, I would say he'd have to be in the discussion to be on the all-time All Kansas team based on what he's done and what he did in high school, and, and of course his his four years of college have been stellar. Uh, you know, Simeon would have to be in the mix with that group, uh, without question. And, and depending if you know if if Rush grew up in which side of the state line, you know, uh, uh, you know he would be in that discussion. All three of them uh, would be in there, and, and there would be. Obviously, many more, but but uh, to me, you know, he's got a chance to be in the top ten in both at our school and scoring and rebounding, and and that's that's a pretty special deal. And he didn't start as a freshman, so most of those guys probably would have started four years. So he, he's had he's had a great consistent run. But when I think of Perry, I, I don't think of the best. I think of consistency. You know, he's one of those guys that you can. You know, if he was a golfer, he'd just go out and shoot par every day. You know, one of one of those guys. He he's not one of those guys that the that the highs are so high and the lows are low. He's just steady, and 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 uh, I think that's something that we we've really grown to not only to to respect, but also at times uh, 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 take for granted because uh, he has been so steady. Well, how much have you depended on that aspect this season when other guys have lacked consistency? Yeah, you, if, if you if you look at our team. We've had Perry be great, Devonte have a great games, uh, uh, Wayne obviously have great games, Frank be stellar. Uh, we, we've had guys that are that have played at a real high level, but those guys have also not played at near the high level. And Perry's, you know, played at that high level, but 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 his bad is better than everybody else's bad, uh, at, at least, you know, so far. When when he doesn't have a good game, he still gets numbers, where where a lot of times, you know, even really good players don't do that. What would your emotions be like on, on senior day? What's it like for you? Well, it's, it's, it's pretty 
comparable most every year. You know, there, there, there's some classes that that you would think would, uh, uh, you know, may, maybe hit home a little bit more than other classes. This will be one that will hit, uh, hit home more for me because these guys, you know, just to know, you know, Evan, watching him grow up, uh, you know, living down the street. Uh, you know, Hunter, when I think of all the sacrifices he's made and, and left the program to come be with us, and, and it hadn't worked out perfect for him from a playing time standpoint, but nobody's more respected and not a better person, uh, uh, not a better teammate. And then Jamari, you know, to me, he'll go down as one of my all-time guys because I, I just to see where he started and where he is now is just totally remarkable. And and and, uh, and then Perry, you've got, you've got the rock of all rocks. So... Uh, you know, the, 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 this is a special group. They won a lot of games, uh, but this is a special group for intangible, probably more so than winning. What hit so much most about Jamari? You've talked about his story a lot. Uh, I just watching him mature. You know, watching him go from I, I don't without going into too much, uh, uh, but but he was dealt a hand that, that uh, most of us will never see, fortunately, and 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 there were, there are multiple multiple hands that, that uh, would impact any young man, whether it be, whether it be uh, you know, family crisis, whether it be uh, um, economic situations, whether it be uh, uh, being homeless for a period of time, uh, uh, having, to, having to, you know, fight and scrap for shelter, for food, uh, which, you know, at age 15 or 16, that's not something that anybody would wish on any kid. Uh, and, and to see, you know, his, of course, he's, he's got a, um, Tracy's been done an unbelievable job with him. And, and there was some tough love that she had to give him throughout that, that he respects tremendously now, not understanding back then. And, and, uh, and to see how he's come. And, you know, they said he wasn't qualified academically. Well, all he did was graduate in four years and he's working on, you know, post grad stuff now. I mean, there's just so many things that, that, that he's done. And then from a basketball standpoint, teaching the young guys, uh, being a great teammate, an energy guy. And when we talk about leaders on our team, you know, he's definitely one of the two or three best leaders on our team. Can you share your thoughts on uh, the last game at Allen Fieldhouse for Bob Davis behind the microphone? Well, you know, un unfortunately, I've never heard Bob call a game. Uh, 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 and even more fortunately is that if I'd heard him call, I guess I'd have to hear Gurley along with him. So uh, that, that's probably uh, the good and the bad of it. Uh, or Piper or whoever it was back, back before then. Uh, but, uh, you know, I've heard sound, sound bites, obviously. And, and uh, you know, the way that everybody feels about Bob or the, the things that people say about Bob, uh, you know, tell me he must be unbelievably good at unbelievable unbelievably good at his craft uh, because everybody says nothing but great things and you know he's been sportscaster of the year how many times Bob? <laughs> four, four, 14 years he's been sportscaster of the year and and uh, and trust me he said he didn't know he knew uh, 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 and, and, and and you know he, he, he is excellence and and uh, but he's a much better person than he is on the mic uh, uh, I would guarantee that, and, and so, so I, I, I uh, to have total respect for him, and and it, it, it is it is going to be a. I mean, there's five seniors. Uh, uh, of course, one of them's a senior citizen, but there's five. There, no, I'm joking. But there's five seniors that 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 will be honored on on Saturday, and all deservedly so. He was a. You were a grad assistant when he first started out here at KU. But I think he'd actually been on the job a, a, a few years. Isn't that right, Bob? Yeah, and so I came in 85, 86, so only, only a couple of years. But, but uh, yeah, we, we actually, you know, got to know each other a little bit back then. Of course, you know, he and Max were running everything together uh, uh, back in those days and did for many, many, or for a couple of decades after that. But uh, it's, been, it's, been, it's been fun to watch and fun to be a part of. And, it, and it's also kind of been neat, you know, on this, you know, Kobe farewell tour he's, he's been on to be, to, be, to be honored at every place he goes to. That, that's, been, that's been pretty special to see. <laughs> Morris uh, dominated action way back on your last loss. Uh, yeah. Can you talk about what you could do differently today and how better equipped we are defensively to handle it? Well, you know, a lot of it's going to be up to Frank. I mean, let's, let's, 
put it, let's call it like it is, uh, he, he controlled the game the first game. He didn't turn the ball over. He had, I don't, I don't know the exact numbers, but didn't he have like 18 points and nine assists or something? And yeah, 20, well, I didn't give enough credit, 21, nine and zero. And so we did nothing to create any any type of havoc for him. And, 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 and you know, it's it's a team defensive deal, but it's a lot of it's going to be on Frank. And, 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 uh, and, and uh, you know, Frank needs to get after him. And, and, and he will. He'll, he'll play him better. And Devontae will be on him some too because we'll switch some. But, but, uh, We've got to do a better job on, on on him and not let him just control the game and be comfortable. He can have a he can have a great game and, and get you know get sixteen and, and 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 eight and zero and you've done a great job on him. I mean that 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 would be a natural game for him. Uh, but but certainly we we got to do better than we did last game without question. Not only keeping him out of the paint, but just not letting him be so comfortable. Frank kind of in a way after the Texas game called out an analyst who earlier in the season. Uh, called him the sixth best point guard in the Big 12. He called him out on Twitter. Um, he didn't call him out. He just made a statement, right? What was your reaction to that? And, and is that the kind of personality that you were talking about you wanted to see from your team earlier? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't see anything problematic with that at all. He didn't call out anybody's name. He didn't say anything negative. He just said, hey, my, look where my team is. And, and uh, so I, I, I th actually think that's fine. And, and you know what? Uh, uh, the person that, that made that, uh, uh, comment was just doing his job. If somebody asked him rank the guards, he's just doing his job. But the reality of it is, is, is uh, he won't mind that at all. You know, I mean, everybody's competitive, and everybody, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, makes statements sometimes of opinions that not a lot of people agree with. And and uh, I th I think that he'll be 100% fine with Frank saying that. This team is confident as they've been all year long. I think so. You know, I, I, at least, at least, you know, we took yesterday, we took Tuesday off, and basically took yesterday off. We practiced 35 minutes, uh, but we'll go hard today and tomorrow. But, I, but I do think that, you know, based on the the the, the feel in the locker room and on the court and stuff and focus, I do think that we're we're as confident as we've been. Yeah. I know there's not a formula to it, but is that pretty ideal as you guys are coming down the home stretch here? Ah, uh, you know, I, I hope so. I, I mean, you, you got you got VCU that didn't know they were going to get in the tournament uh, uh, a few years ago, go to the Final Four, and they don't even have a watch party because they don't think they're going to get in. So, so that may not be the most confident team going into it, and 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 you got some other teams that are riding sky high going into it. I, I don't, I don't, I, you know, you want to try to hit it at the right time. Hopefully, hopefully we're we're hitting it at a good time, but you know, I, I don't, re I don't really know the 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 exact formula. On, on when you want to peak, if, if it's mid-February, 1st of March, middle of March, I, I, don't, I don't really know, but we just, I, I do know this, we need to be playing the best ball that we played all year moving forward. So hopefully we've prepared ourselves to do that. Wayne has started all 101 games he's been at for the university. I'm, I'm curious, was there ever a moment where you thought maybe continue, you know, maybe start him? I know you said you're going to start Frank. No. Because the, the the it's not the negative if if we'd have had two point guards that were seniors then of course we'd start Wayne but but based on you know you know if you're already playing you know three big guys and and you got Evan out there that put a lot of pressure on one guy if he didn't play but one guard and, and have some help bringing it up and stuff like that so no that 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 doesn't that won't affect him and it won't affect me if me in, in, in doing that at all. Evan's shown he, he can play a little bit. You put him out there. Before. Yeah. What, what do you do, though, in this kind of situation where it's a guy like that who doesn't get a lot of minutes or a lot of minutes at that time? Do you do anything different at the start of, at the, start of the game, how you approach things, or you just run your stuff? No, we'll just, we'll, we, we may run something to try to get, you know, a guy a touch or whatnot, but, but, but for the most part, we'll just do the same thing. You know, that's, that's how I've always done it. And Evan's good enough to, 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 to do it and play and, and be effective out there for the, for the time that he's in there. So, no, there won't be any, any – we're not trying to hide anybody or do anything uh, uh, different other than, than just play. Anything else? <laughs>